The next technique is Karaminage. I will explain. The opponent comes to grab your lower lapel. So actually, it is good to enter with the gyaku udedori technique. However, in the beginning, at the moment of contact with the opponent, if you cannot unbalance him, if you fail and allow him to grab your lapel, then, as I explained before concerning gyaku udedori, the opponent will attack you with a punch an overhead strike or a kick. I have explained this before. Here, since you have learned about Ippon Dori first, I teach a Shomunichi attack from Munadori. How do we respond to this attack? You were grabbed. You did not act in time. It would have been better if you had entered with the Gyaku Ude Dori technique when the opponent first began to move project Aiki energy, then in exactly the same manner as with Ipondori, press the nerve point on the elbow and the back of the wrist. At this moment, if you release his elbow without applying enough pressure on the back of the wrist, he can pull you in this manner since he is holding your lapel. He will surely do this. Therefore, at this point, apply plenty of pressure on the back of the wrist. Also, here at the joint, you attack the nerve point on the elbow, as I explained before. You throw the opponent, attacking the nerve point with the opponent's own crossed arm. Apply pressure on this nerve point, but not on the joint, but the nerve point above it, using the opponent's own arm. Basically, this posture is desirable. I think this is better than being on your tiptoes. At this point, the technique should still be working effectively. It always has to be working at all stages of the technique. There should not be a dead point where the technique is not effective. So at this point, throw the opponent keeping pressure on the nerve point of his elbow. If the technique is not working at this stage, he can kick you. He can kick you so it shows that the technique must work on your opponent at all stages of the process. I will mention that it may be possible that he can kick you when his abdomen is facing upward. So turn your opponent's abdomen downward and press the nerve point. Then he cannot kick you. This is Ura Otoshi. I will now explain Ura Otoshi. The opponent comes in to grab your sleeve. Do not resist. Drop your key to the point at which the two lines formed by the opponent's feet meet behind him. You drop his key energy and your key here at this crossing point, bringing him off balance. 
Bringing him off balance, be sure to have your palm upward and then turn your upper arm. Enter like this and just from there, turn your upper arm. Then drop him to the rear. I will explain. Here again, the opponent attacks you with a choke. We proceed in the same manner as for Koshiguruma. A choke is a very scary technique. He can bring you down to the ground and attack you. As I explained earlier, before your opponent grabs your lapel, execute an atemi and take a zigzag step to get off the opponent's center line. Take a zigzag step, execute an atemi, then grab his belt and attack his chin, thus unbalancing him. Take a zigzag step and execute anatemi. When you grab his belt with one hand, be sure that your other hand, which attacks the opponent's chin, goes in under the upper arm of the opponent. Notice the upper and lower arm positions. If you put your arm under his lower arm, he can't pull your arm away. So be sure to place your arm in under his upper arm. Then he can't pull off your arm. Make sure that you are off the center line by taking a zigzag step. Grab his belt and attack his chin. You are supposed to fling his head against the ground from here, but that, of course, would be dangerous. Throw him so that he can easily take the fall. Then, in this situation, both your hands are available to execute an atemi. Since this atemi is symbolic of drawing a wakizashi, or short sword, and executing a final blow, be sure to do it with your right hand whenever both your hands are free. The important points for this technique are exactly the same as for Koshiguruma. The opponent attacks intending to choke and take you down. Please practice with a clear understanding of this point.